Hey guys, my name is Thomas Rizzoli and today I'm going to be showing you how to straighten a photo perfectly using Lightroom and Photoshop. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This will be the first video of a series of short and quick Photoshop tutorials that I will be making. I know a lot of you are staying home and trying to upskill yourself and trying to get better at photo editing. So I thought I'd make this series to help you guys out. Over the next few weeks, I'm gonna be creating lots of Photoshop tutorials, teaching you guys what I always do in Photoshop and what techniques that I use so that you guys can apply that in your own photos too. So the first one is how to straighten a photo. So I've been working in architecture for about five years now and I studied architecture for five years so when I'm looking at photos and when I'm editing photos I always try to keep my lines perfectly straight not just the horizontal ones but also the vertical ones too the reason why you want your photos to be straight is to just give it a bit of balance and it's actually much more pleasing to the eye when you see a straight photo it's a big pet hate of mine to see photos just slightly off not straight or something that's just like on the side on the edges you can see that it's not straight you can like I would have just straightened it a little bit um, so I'm going to be teaching you how to do that. So let's jump on the computer and I'll show you two really quick ways you can straighten your photos using Lightroom and then in Photoshop too. Alright, so we're in Lightroom now and I've already imported the photos we're going to be using. The first thing we're going to do is to fix any lens distortions just in case your lens has some warping or distorting effects to it. So you're going to go to the lens corrections panel and click on both remove chromatic aberration and enable profile corrections. Lightroom should be able to find the lens you've used automatically, but if not, you can try to find your lens from the drop down menus. Next, to straighten the photo, go to the transform panel and look for this button right here. Click it and then hover over your photo and a zoomed in box should appear with a cross in the middle of it. With this tool you can draw up to 4 lines to straighten the photo, 2 vertical and 2 horizontal lines. Click and hold a starting point and then drag a line where it is supposed to be vertical in the photo. Then do it again to another vertical line and then do this 2 more times for the horizontal lines too. Make sure constraint crop is turned off and you can also turn this off in the crop settings too. Don't worry if you get these white triangles on the bottom or top of your images, you can fix them up quite easily using Photoshop, which I'll show you how to do later in this video. Sometimes the vertical and horizontal lines are quite subtle and hard to find like this photo here, but try to analyse your photos closely and you will definitely find some lines to match them too. And that's it, that's how you straighten your photos in Lightroom. Alright guys, so just before we jump into Photoshop, I just want to talk about quickly why we would use Photoshop to straighten our photos instead of Lightroom. I use Photoshop to straighten my photos because there's just so much more control that you can get and sometimes Lightroom cuts off too much of the image when you use the tool I just showed you just then and that's the reason why I use Photoshop to straighten my photos, just because of control and all you need to do is just get used to it and know what to look for in the program. So if I was straightening in Lightroom, I would straighten first and then color grade it but if I was straightening in Photoshop, I would usually color grade it first and then open the photo in Photoshop and then straighten it in Photoshop afterwards. So yeah, let's just jump into Photoshop and i show you guys how I straighten my photos there. Alright, so the first thing I do in Photoshop is crop it to 4x5 ratio as that's what I usually crop for Instagram. You want to make sure that the delete crop pixels is turned off so you can keep adjusting the crop later on. By cropping first, you also unlock the background layer which makes it easier to scale and straighten the image using the free transform tool. Next, drag in a few guidelines from the rulers on the left and the top to help you with the straightening. You can add as many guidelines as you want, but I usually go for two vertical and two horizontal ones. If you can't see a ruler on the screen, hit Ctrl or Command R to make it appear or disappear. Once you've done that, right click on the image and click Free Transform. Then right click again and pick from the following options. I usually try Perspective first, which is just both the left and right corners at the same time. And then I use Distort to fix the image even further. Adjust by dragging and moving the nodes around the image. I also sometimes use Skew as well, and this can be quite helpful. Just have a play around to get used to what each one does. This is quite an extreme example of straightening a photo as I shot the image with a super wide angle lens at a very low angle looking upwards. So there was quite a lot of adjusting to do to get it perfectly straight. But just be patient with it and keep using the distort tool to align the lines to the grids. Once you're done you can remove the grids by going up to view at the top then clear guides. Finally play around with the composition and the crop until you're happy with it and then get rid of those two bottom triangles by selecting around them using the polygonal lasso tool and then right clicking and then click fill and then make sure content aware is selected and then click ok. You can also give it one last check to see if the image is straight by pulling the rollers in again from the sides. 
then just hit save and then the image should jump back into Lightroom automatically for you to do a second color grade or to export. And we're done. Take a look at the before and now take a look at the after. All right, so I hope you guys found that tutorial useful. Let me know what you guys think of this short format of tutorials and let me know what you wanna learn next in Photoshop. I just wanna make it really simple and really easy for you guys so we can all follow along and improve our editing together. So yeah, if you guys like this video, make sure you guys give it a like and if you guys wanna see more coming soon, make sure you subscribe. As always, thanks so much for watching and remember to always push your creativity to the next level. Bye. wearing my Photoshop shirt again today. I got this at Adobe Max a couple of years ago. I love this shirt, I love wearing it. Um, simple and look at this, it's got the, the Photoshop toolbars on the side. How cool is that?